from Fox News. Vindman says Musk should be nervous after Telegram CEO was arrested. Free speech absolutists weirdos. Is this Alex Vindman? Yes. Yeah. Telegram CEO Pavel Durov is being accused of, of not taking sufficient action to limit criminal activity on the messaging app. And Vindman says that Elon Musk should be worried. He says that there's implications for other social media. There's a growing intolerance for platforming disinfo and malign influence and a growing appetite for accountability. Uh, he's completely correct about that. There's an intolerance for people like him, mm -hmm. in my opinion, platforming disinfo and malign influence. Uh, Ukraine is an enemy of this country. I despise that, that, that country. I used to like it. I thought it was beautiful. I have friends in there. Now I think they are, uh, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a hive of scum and villainy mm -hmm. by which we should have no involvement. They are now accused as a warrant issued for the arrest of uh, uh, a Ukrainian for blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline. That's right. Ukraine, Ukraine, using Western weapons, intelligence, and resources, now invaded Russia. The U.S. needs to cut them off cold turkey and say enough because they are enemies and they are going to lead this country and this planet to destruction. That's Vindman, who overwhelmingly blindly supports that country, who helped lead the fake impeachment of Donald Trump when Donald Trump was trying to investigate the illicit business dealing to the Bidens. So yeah, this guy should be worried about his malign influence. He leaked the phone call. Between Trump and Zelensky, where Zelensky was like, hey, why was that prosecutor fired? Was that because of Biden's influence? And Vindman leaked that. And yep. that led to the that led to the first impeachment, even though what Trump was saying is, was Biden withholding money from you guys until you fired the prosecutor? That's illegal. <laughs> that's We, we got to look into that. Right. Wow, that's crazy. We should check that out. And then the deep state and Democrats mm -hmm. colluded and conspired to impeach Donald Trump over a crime they committed. It's yeah. it's it's a very smart maneuver. It's Accuse the your enemy. Law of woke projection. Yes. Again. They the, the intelligence agencies and the Democrats knew that the only way to get it, it's brilliant. You have to. Let, let, I'll put it this way. I'll tell you a story, uh, or I'll give you an, I'll give you a simple uh, analogy. If two people get into a fight, it's usually whoever calls the police who wins. Mm -hmm. There are numerous circumstances that happen all the time where the aggressor who starts the fight calls the police and the victim gets arrested. Oh, yeah, of course. Police, police don't care. They yeah. show up and they say, you called the police? Yeah, this guy's freaking out. He's attacking people. Doesn't matter if you're the victim. So what they did, what Democrats did was they're like, crap, Trump's on to us. We need to launch a criminal charge against him for doing this exact thing. That way it can't be used against us. We'll get to the police first. It, it's a sick uh, and insane form of, of gaslighting where they weaponize the justice system and the partnership between the government and the mainstream media complex to achieve a nefarious end. Look, I want to blow your mind for a minute. Imagine this. Think about this threat that he's making and the people who he represents, Vin Vin, who I, I can't stand the sight of him. But Trump is going to get sentenced uh, in September 18th. September, yeah, 18, 15, something like that, right? And he's threatening here uh, the C, uh, the the CEO of Telegram is now in jail, right? He's threatening Musk. Could you imagine on October 1st if Trump and Musk were both in jail? Yeah, it's not. they're not going to arrest Musk. He'd have to go to Europe. Imagine he goes to Europe and, and he, go, he goes through France and, they, and they, just, they do the same thing to him just for the sake of argument. They pick, I don't want it to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But he's talking like it's going to happen. It's not going to happen to Musk because of SpaceX and because of Tesla. Well, they the need, economic damage would be tremendous. They need SpaceX to go get those astronauts back. <laughs> they do. They've got two yeah. U.S. astronauts just stuck in space. Yep. Can you imagine being Boeing told that they're going to be up there it? for eight days, and then they're like, actually, we'll come get you in a couple months. Like, was, right? it, was it supposed to be eight days? Yeah, it was supposed to be eight days. What's funny is there was this whole there was this whole joke about how NASA engineers tried to send up like a thousand tampons with a woman who was going to be in space for like four days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of hope those are still up there for that lady. Well, that, that, Someone that, wrote a song about it. That's like, why it's fake news. Our greatest minds. <laughs> but that's why it's fake news. Why? So there's this old trope where uh, it's this meme that goes around. It says NASA spent four million dollars developing a pen that could write in zero gravity. Right. Russians used a pencil. <laughs> it's so funny, right? Except you can't use pencils in outer space because the particulates from the pencil will break apart, get into the systems, get in the filters. You can't do it. And so the same thing happened with the tampon story where they're like, did you know that NASA was trying to set up 100 tampons for a woman who's only going to be there for a week? Aren't they stupid? No, NASA probably said, how, how much money does it cost to send a payload up to outer space? Yeah. $50 million. Okay, well, let's quadruple up on everything send we can and it. do one trip. <laughs> and so now they've got 100 plus tampons I up there. I hope it's still up not there. for one person. <laughs> yeah, sh certainly. Certainly. If it's going to be months, you might need Eight a handful. Yeah. But the point is, people 
just generally don't understand these things and they assume it was stupid to do something, which actually is if you full, understand the full context of when's the next 50 million dollar payload being launched to the ISS, right? Send as much as you can now because you don't have a lot of opportunities to do it. People just don't get this stuff. But